Well, this is fun. Uh, this is a huge box. I'm actually standing up. I never stand up to film videos, but um, it's just because I can't fit everything in. This is all the stuff from my PO box. Because of the lockdown, I've been unable to pick up my mail. And I know a lot of you have been asking questions about whether things have arrived safely. So I'm hoping that this will answer your question. By the time you guys see this video, it will be part of one of my regular haul videos. I will have already contacted the people that have sent me things. Um, so that was a kind of pointless um, pointless statement that I've just made, but never mind. Anyway, as always, I like to open these on camera so that everybody's getting the surprise at the same time. So basically what's happened is that my mailbox place has repackaged all my mail and forwarded it on to me. Um, and it's taken quite a bit of doing for various reasons. So this will be packages within a package and I have a feeling that this box is a bit overkill. I don't think I've really got that much mail. FedEx Express large box. How very exciting. Press firmly to ensure a secure seal. No, we don't want to seal it. We want to open it. <laughs> Rubbish FedEx boxes. Now we're getting somewhere. Mmm, bubble wrap. <laughs> Lots of bubble wrap. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, this is a heavy one. Four, five. What is this? Okay. Wow, I'm confused. Oh, there's more. I, uh, yeah, I don't know where to start. I think I can sit down now though, which is really nice. Let's start, let's start from the beginning. It's really funny because I know whose handwriting this is now. This handwriting belongs to a certain Daria, one of my serial commenters. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, Daria, but anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna open this first. And it's got some lovely washi tape on the back, which I really like. So I'm going to try and peel this off gently. Ooh. <laughs> oh, damn it. It's doing so well there as well. Okay, I'm in, finally. <laughs> Dolly, peace, love and happiness. Oh, a birthday blessing from the Dolly Lama. <laughs> the Dolly Lama. <laughs> the Dolly Lama. Oh, goodness me. Happy birthday, Gem. I saw this card ages ago and had to set it aside for you. I also ordered something for you which isn't scheduled to ship until the 18th of the month. Now, this could be... I think this must be the 18th of March. I expected to get an email with tracking info, so I'll try to give you more of a heads up later in the month love Daria oh look at this card okay now this is beginning to make a little bit more sense I think that this one is yes yeah okay I remember now because Daria did email me about this and she has ordered a subscription box for me as sort of a birthday stroke housewarming type present so um yeah i am not going to open this at all i'm going to do this in a separate video i'm assuming this is customs information or something in the back it's i don't i don't know what this is or maybe it's just oh it's just shipping labels oh right okay let's make art that's what it's stuck over the front of it so, um, Daria, this is insane and it's amazing. Thank you so much. And I am absolutely love in love with Dolly the Llama. That's hilarious. Dolly Llama. Okay, this one is paint from Julia. I, I kind of, I'm always ordering paint from her like every month now. <laughs> it's getting a bit out of hand. And as always, beautifully packaged. And she's, she sent me one of her little stickers. Oh, <laughs> And a paint dot. Gem, thank you so much for your order. What colour has she given me this time? I think I've already got this one. That's okay though, I can have two. Oh, look at the little houses, they're so cute. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, so let's just do this. Now, do you know what's interesting? I literally just moved a whole load of watercolour stuff out of the way to open this parcel. Um, and obviously I want to swatch these out, so. It's so cute, look how cute this is. I just love the way. Julia must have endless patience to sit and wrap all of these because I certainly would not have the patience to do that. Whee! <laughs> Iris, I can't remember ordering this one. Wentworth, Stig and Sphere. Ooh! This is like silver. Silvery gold colour. I'm pretty sure I've already got this one. 
Okay, we'll leave that to dry and we can test it out in just a moment. Iris, I've got this one as a paint dot. Just realised this box is casting a little shadow on my, my desk. Uh, yeah, I've got, I've got Iris as a paint dot and I liked it a lot. So I just thought, yeah, I'll order myself a half palette. <laughs> half palette, half pan. Pip doesn't know what to do with herself this afternoon. She's been back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. All right, are you ready? Brace yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at that, that's so beautiful. I am in love. Look at that, would you look at that? That deserves even more of a zoom in. Let's get zoomed right in. Get the autofocus on. Look how nice that color is. You can see why when I got the paint dot, I just had to have it. Oh, this one's quite full. Get like bonus paint in this one. That's really zoomed in, that's too far. Oh, oh wow. I am so excited about paint, it's ridiculous. I went earth. Oh, that's very rich as well. This is the kind of paint I really like because you can have it as a really rich solid colour, you know, really metallic-y and you can water it down into next to nothing if you just want a really sort of delicate sheen. And I am, that's one of the, well, that's one of the reasons I love Julia's paints because they're quite versatile. Uh, not to mention that they're nice to work with as well and she makes the best colours. If you are into watercolour painting and you haven't tried Julia's paints, I will link her YouTube channel and also her Etsy store where you can buy her paints. She does refresh her shop once a month and it's on the first of the month. So if you can't find a colour you like, if you wait till the first of the following month, you're sure to find something because she does put out different colours every month. There are a few firm favourites like Stig, which is this one, that she puts out most months. Yes, 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 perfect for forests, perfect for trees. A uh, round of applause for Julia. And also a quick thought for her because she's not very well. I was speaking to her um, yesterday actually and uh, she was telling me that she's not very well. So I am um, hoping you'll join me in hoping that she's better by now. Hello Julia, I hope you're feeling better. Okay, I am super, super pleased with my paint. So I have a Dolly Lama card. I have a subscription box that I've never seen before in my life. And I have four, scratch that, five, including my paint dot, watercolours. This is the like the best P.O. box delivery ever and I've got to keep all little Julia's little bits and pieces because for those of you that might be newer viewers we seem to have had an influx again just recently. For newer subscribers when people send me things in my P.O. box I keep all the bits and bobs that come with them like the stamps or the envelopes and I have a scrapbook and it's called the Big Book of Gratitude and I stick everything in there as like a memory book and once it's full I'm going to do a video on it to just remind everybody how thankful, lucky and grateful I am for all you generous people out there that seem to like sending me stuff. My name is Jeb. This has come from the UK and I've just realised that um, the, the, the return address, it's actually quite near where I used to live when I stayed in England. So that's kind of weird but kind of cool. Okay, let's move the paintbrush out the way now. I don't think we're going to need that now. Okay, it's a bit of cardboard. Might use that for something. Just keep a hold of that, Jen. Oh, 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 what is going on in here? What is this? Wow. Wow, this is like super exciting. Look at this. Look. This is like presents. Oh, look at these. I don't want to unwrap these. Is this a, oh, it's a letter plate. Oh, look at this envelope as well. Oh, guys, the envelope's knobbly bobbly. It feels so good. Look how pretty that is. This looks like wide washi tape, yeah, it is, rather than um, like a label or a sticker. Ooh, look at the paper, it's so amazing. That is like, oh, right, okay. Okay, oh no, I've missed a sheet. I was going to say, this letter doesn't make sense. Here we go. Dear Jem, I just thought I would send you a little something. I was re refilling some of my Daniel Smith watercolours and I thought you might like a couple of the unusual colours. Plus I did the usual yellow, red, blue. I added a couple of little trays that I got from a lovely lady called Hazel Scott. Unfortunately, it looks like she might not make them anymore. 
mine hold my travel Daniel Smiths. I found that I preferred the Van Gogh paints from Upcrate in pans, so I added a little tint in case you wanted to try them that way. That is really thoughtful. Then once I'd done the paint and tins, I figured I should add a sketch pad. The paper is Cansonex Aquarelle, so not the best watercolour paper, but okay for quick sketches. I hope you and yours are keeping safe, Tracy. Oh, oh. This is amazing. I love this paper. Like, I am in love with this whole thing. And I've got, it's like birthday presents. This is just, this is the beans, guys. Right, oh, right, okay. <laughs> I'm really low. Please take a good look at this because I really don't want to open this after all. And you've taped them up as well, Tracy. What are you trying to do to me? Right, okay, where's my knife? Here we go. Oh, I don't want to. It's too pretty. Tracy, the next time you've got any notions of sending me anything, can you just make me like a dummy parcel? Like get a note like an empty matchbox or something and just wrap one of these up so I can keep it like this. <laughs> Honestly, I really, really don't want to be doing this. Right, this is the tin. Because that this is very familiar to me. Um, this is very similar to... Oh no, don't do that. This is very similar to the tins that Julia sends her watercolours in. Ooh... Oh, look, and she's even done the cutest little swatch sheet and laminated it as well. That is so adorable. Oh, my goodness. Tracy, that is just the cutest thing I have ever seen, like, actually. And she's printed me labels as well. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, Tracy, thank you so much. Like, this, is, this has just made me weirdly really, really happy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Keep telling you all and you don't believe me, simple things like this is the best thing ever. Somebody's taking time to like hand make a little travel tin for me and that's just amazing. Oh Tracy, this is this is awesome. Thank you so much. And it's made me giggle a little bit as well, but oh dear, right. Okay, let's pop that to the side for now. Look, I've managed to keep the packaging intact. Ooh. I'm gonna have to flatten it to put it in the book of gratitude though. I've just realised that. That's a problem. Okay, so let's have a I look at this one. Oh, honestly, every time I collect my mail, I, you guys just like, you totally amaze me. You've got like a severe amount of dedication for stuff like this and I, I tip my hat to you. See, if I was sending a parcel to me, I wouldn't do half of this stuff. Oh. Can I just tell you, I'm going to go off on a bit of a tangent here. I have a thing about tins and uh, I love Altoid tins. I like tins that are embossed because they feel knobbly bobbly. I've got a thing about textures. Um, I love like weird and wonderful tins. Some of you might have noticed in the background of my videos I've got a big tall Jack Daniels tin as well. Oh look she's done it again. Oh, that's amazing. And look this is the little trays she was talking about. Oh they're really cool. They look as if they've been 3D printed. Interesting. Oh look. Look at this. Look at this. This is just adorable. Oh, I can't wait to try that. I can't like swatch all these out just now because this video is going to be too long and I'm not going to because you've done them already for me, Tracy. But I can assure you that once this video is finished, the first thing I'm going to do is go and play with these paints. That is just absolutely amazing. Thank you so, so, so much. That's just... Oh, I, yeah, I keep a wee bit speechless. And you've given me an Altoids tin as well. I just love tins. Right, okay. This is, I can't believe you've sent me a sketchbook as well. Good grief. Right. Um, I think I might be able to peel this one off. Ooh. My Jack Russell's wandering about. And I think she might have to go to the bathroom. Because that's what she does. She kind of hovers when she needs outside. So we'll have to speed this up a little bit. I will take a break and come back. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this as well. Again, more for our newer viewers, I have a thing about books in general. I have well over a thousand books, but I have a lot of notebooks and things as well. And stuff like this just excites me no end. Look at how it's bound. That is just, this is amazing. Tracy, did you make this? I think you made this. You're safe you did. You are such a talented lady. And I would like a bajillion of these, please, and I'll pay good money for them. So this is proper water. Look at this. Oh, Tracy, Tracy. Okay, I, I have to know the answer to that. And I'm going to email you right after I've done this video, after I've swatched out your paints, to ask you about this, because that is fabulous. And there's no ticket or label on it, which makes me think you may have made this. 
Goodness me, a talented lady. So I've got lots of things to play with today. Right, I'm going to go and let my Jack Russell out for a little whittle because I think she needs to go and I shall be back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. Mama Gem just came in. She ventured out for some shopping there, so I had to help her in with that. She is uh, just started driving again. We were needing to go out for some supplies, so Mama Gem offered to go. She hasn't been out the house for weeks, so. Okay, this is uh, a parcel from Maria, and Maria did contact me about this, so I know what's in here. Um, this has come all the way from Austria, which is so nice. I'm just going to pop this open. I'm keeping this turned over because the address is on the front. Oh, there's tons of stuff in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, Maria. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> wow. Dear Gem, hope you'll enjoy playing with those Schmincke paints. I've included seven half pans of their professional range. Oh, to let you try out both Academy and Horodam watercolours. Uh, this was after the conversation when I did the video about the um, Cotman versus professional Windsor Newton paints. Um, Maria and I got into this sort of dialogue about it and she's actually sent me some of the Schmincke paints to try out, which is just amazing. Um, Maria, that is just so, so generous of you. Uh, the Academy are non-toxic, vegan and only come in 24 colours. The Horodam do include cadmiums and cobalts as well as other pigments. Oh, she sent me art as well. That are not suitable for children. Schmincke watercolours are poured into the pans, let dry, then more paint is poured. It takes a couple of months and four times pouring and drying to produce such a pan. Wow. The formula for the tubes and pans is the same. Compared to other brands, the pans re-wet easily and hardly ever dry out. The included little watercolour is supposed to be all <laughs> all an early Easter greeting. <laughs> I cannot remember what kind of watercolour I've used there. It's probably Schmincke anyway because they're my go-to watercolours most of the time. And look at this. This is beautiful. It's absolutely lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. This is going to go up on the wall, Maria. Um, I have lots of frames sitting there for our gallery wall, so this is going to be added. That is just wonderful. I'm always um, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm always very impressed with people who draw people because I don't like to draw people. And the fact that this is watercoloured as well, it's absolutely gorgeous. So thank you for sending me that. This is one of my favourite things that I've, that I've actually taken out packets so far. I love it when people send me like physical, tangible art. Have fun trying out those watercolours. I really hope they will make you happy. Yay! <laughs> love from Vienna, Maria. P.S. The watercolour paper is from Canson, my favourite student grade watercolour paper. Okay. Okay, this just shows you how long my mail has been sitting. This was sent on the 9th of March. So thank you so much, Maria. Again, I'm going to email you straight after I've filmed this just to let you know everything's here. So she sent me some of the watercolour paper and she sent me <laughs> more watercolour paper. Okay. And these are the paints. Look at this lovely hand lettering as well. Oh my goodness. So these are the professional ones and the academy ones are the student grade. These are all tightly packed as well. I've got more paint than I can shake a stick at. I think I'm going to have to pay this forward and pass these on. Oh, and they're wrapped as well. Oh, Maria, I didn't realise you were sending me new ones. Goodness me. Wow. Okay, so let's see what colours have we got. Uh, we've got yellow ochre, Prussian blue, permanent green. Do you like a good green? <laughs> Sepia, also good. I like that a lot. Uh, ultramarine. English red, um, brilliant green, ooh, Indian yellow, black, <laughs> cadmium red hue, light Yemen, light, light Yemen yellow, yeah, Yemen yellow, I didn't know a country had its own colour, and carmine as well, that's a really good range of colours, I do think again, maybe I should just have like a, a watercolour video because we've got the paints that um, that Tracy sent as well oh no I've torn it oh no oh these are the door oh. so we've got here as well sepia pe permanent green olive oh one of my favourite colours permanent carmine phthalo green <laughs> uh, some sort of yellow cadmium yellow light ultramarine finest ultramarine finest and ivory black as well maria this is awesome thank you so much this is i really appreciate this this was so 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 generous of you i've wanted to try the schmincke paints for a while and everyone has told me that they are really good so i'm quite 
interested in doing a comparison, um, not only between these and like, the likes of Windsor and Newton, but also the student versus the professional grade as I did with the Windsor and Newtons. So again, that may be another video. I am going to be really busy with videos from everything that you guys have given me. This is just insane. Thank you, Maria. That is absolutely perfect. And I am in love with your artwork. So thank you very much for sending me that as well. I really appreciate that. Okay. This is like a marathon. And I also know about this as well. And this is a this is actually a, like a a, um, a donation because Cal is a very generous person, and she has vouchers for the works, which is a, a UK. They started out as a book company, I think, but they sell like craft supplies and stuff as well, and it's kind of like budget end stuff. But this was on a, a very special offer. Um, in the works they had X amount of copies and Cal had asked if she should buy one using her voucher, I think she said it was a voucher, to use as a cave giveaway. So she has donated this for me to give to a viewer, which I just think is amazing. This is Kirby's newest book. Um, I have a copy already, I haven't coloured in it yet. And um, in fact, I'm sure it was in the last haul video, but I now have a spare copy, which I'm going to keep for a giveaway. So that's quite exciting. Thank you very much, Cal, for your general city that's that's such a lovely thing to do and I'm sure the other viewers will appreciate it as well there's something else in here <laughs> God. Oh. right okay okay uh, yeah here we go here's our letter I knew there was going to be a letter as well oh goodness me I don't want to hurt this too badly I'm going to keep the wax seal oh Let's see what she's seen to it. Oh, how cute is that? That's lovely. I really like this. Hiya, Gem. Here's the Kirby book we spoke about and I thought the sweeties would give you a giggle. It's Llama Apocalypse. Llama Apocalypse. <laughs> Llama Apocalypse. These are getting better. Keep arting, Cal. P.S. Thought you might like this card. It's another local artist, but it's just so cute. It is lovely. I really like it. I'm going to put that up beside the other one. In fact, I think you sent me the other one I've got pinned up as well. Yeah, <laughs> I can add it to my collection. Oh, goodness me. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Oh, drama. I'm going to show these to Mr. Jem and he's going to kill himself laughing because Mr. Jem loves Haribo sweets. He absolutely loves them. He has a horrendous sweet tooth. And I think I'm going to have to hide these from him after I've showed him the packet, obviously, because he will probably just eat them. I kind of don't want to eat them, though. Drama. <laughs> oh, goodness me. So today's offering is this rather large box, which I think doesn't have rather large items in it, but we are just about to find out. I was given a voucher for Cass Art, which is a UK oh, art supplies company. They have several stores across the UK, but they also do online as well. And further to, look at this, further to being sent the Schmincke paints, I wanted to kind of like bolster that up a bit, so I got myself some more stuff. So there we go, that massive box for, for literally for, for this, but okay, we'll, we'll let that one slide. It's locked down, maybe they don't have access to normal people's cardboard boxes. What do I know? Yeah, so, oh, what I have in here, I'll just tip this out. Uh, I wanted to get some more, oh, 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 some more of the Schmincke Horridam colours and uh, I have a selection here. Now they do come in 15 mil tubes and the ones that were sent to me were in pans. So I have also got some half empty half pans on the way so that I can put them in there because I do like working out a palette a lot better than I do working with uh, straight out the tube. And that's just a preference that I've found as I've gone along and I'm, I'm painting, you know, a bit more. So I've got some beautiful looking colours here and the idea behind these now is that I am going to be able to compare them like for like with the academy paints which is the student grade variety these are the professional grade paints so these are the colors that I have to go with the ones that you saw earlier and that will be an upcoming video so you can stay tuned for that I was also really curious to try this out and this is the master's brush cleaner and preserver now I've heard a lot of people using this and it's basically supposed to help you look after your paint brushes and you can use it with oil acrylics 
and watercolour brushes so that's pretty good and uh, I'm not really sure uh, what you're supposed to do there is some little instructions on the, on the back here they're very small instructions and basically it's in picture format and it's wet the brush squiggle the brush in the tub and then rinse it off and leave it to dry so let's just have a little look at this now oh oh it smells lemony it smells lovely <laughs> It smells beautiful. Made in the USA by the General Pencil Company. Um, it's distributed by a French company. It's mostly soap. 15 to 30% soap. 5 to 15% ethylene glycol. And then an anionic surf surfactant, which is very common in cleaning products. So, yeah. It smells amazing, but apparently uh, it's supposed to really help uh, keep your bristles together as well, you know, and it's, it's almost like a conditioner for your brush. So I'm really curious to try that out, and I'm really glad that it smells nice, because if it didn't, I was going to be very, very upset. <laughs> The last thing I've got here, this was just a random extra, as I say, I was I had a voucher so I wanted to use it up. And uh, this is an imitation sable paintbrush, which is something that I've never tried. I have tried a, a real sable brush and uh, the ones so far I haven't been that impressed with. So I just got myself uh, three, this is the Pro Art brushes and this is a, a three stroke zero. And uh, you can see there that it's, um, it looks quite interesting. It looks very handmade. The frill is basically plastic with some wire around it, but these are supposed to be quite environmentally friendly as well. I do have other Pro Art brushes that I use fairly regularly, not all the time, but I, I quite like them. So as a brand, I kind of trust them. So I thought I would just get one of these and give it a bash. So that will be in an upcoming video also. So you can look forward to that too. Anyway, that is it for today. I'll try and put this back on without breaking it. There we go. So that is my haul video for today. I want to thank you all very much for watching, coming, hanging out. I hope you've enjoyed this and we shall see you in the next video. Bye for now, everyone.